I'm going to tell you a story about your grandfather. He went into this field one evening after a rabbit. He chased the rabbit all around the field. And the rabbit ran all around the field and he went after the rabbit. So he ended up there. He couldn't get out of the field. He couldn't find the gate when he went in. No right. way. So he had to stay in the field all night. All right. How's the fairies? I took him. You he told me it was different, that. He couldn't. How was your grandfather? So I'll tell you another one now about Jack Cures. He was taken by the fairies as you well. Me, yeah, he was taken by the fairies. He went into the field as well and he chased this rabbit up and down the fields, all around, and he couldn't catch the rabbit. And he ran after the rabbit and still as he got near the rabbit, the rabbit had gone farther away. So I ended up how Jack had to sleep in the trees all night. Right. When he woke up the next morning, he wasn't in the trees. And that's true. Oh, he didn't realise? didn't realise he was in on the fairy path. Right, did he realise though that he, he climbed the tree? No, I didn't. I don't know how he got up in the tree. All right. But he was able to get down over anyway in the morning and found the gate of honey butter. And I'll tell you another one. Uh, Tim Whelan's house up here, that, that was built on the fairy path. Um, they used to go to bed at night time and they'd hear the noise, dress, cups turning on the dresser and his clothes be brought down from the bedroom. Oh, this went on for months. Right. So the woman down to the house and he went up to the priest. So the priest came down to bless the house. And she, he left his hat on the table. Is this the same thing though along with the mugs? Yeah. The mugs were turned different, yeah. differently on the thing every every morning she got up. Yeah, on the, this, on the dresser. Yeah, on the dresser. She the priest left his hat on the dre on the table. Yeah, and the hat flew down to the ground. So he was blessing this house. He was blessing this house. Yeah. Kinsley's was the name. Mrs. Right. Kinsley's house. That was grand anyway. She picked it up the first time. She left it back up on the table, and she picked it up the second time. Happened again, yeah. Happened again. And the third time, she, he says to her, leave it there. He drove the fairies over to R.A. And she, he died in all land. He lived in all land after that when he died. Oh, in a few weeks or whatever. A few weeks. And another time, thing as well. There was another man, Sam Johnson was his name. We lived up where Benny was now. And... Uh, that's where Robert Bailey's living now. Yeah. So, up in your walls. Yeah. Sam John or Furlongs asked Sam Johnson for the loan of the horse and car draw sticks. So Sam gave him the loan of the horse and car and he then of course Furlong drew sticks all day long. And poor old Jim Larry said to me, he says the about the horse. He said that two days after that the horse got bad. And the roars of the horse out in the field. Oh, that's more house. Yeah. They roared him. And he threw all the sticks off the fairy pan. That was grand and he had the poor old horse died. Oh, because of this? Yeah. So Sam Johnson said he'd never get for long the horse if he hadn't known he was going to draw the sticks off the fairy pan. And what happened to him? Did he not happen to him? Oh, and he did not happen to him, but the horse died. It was the horse. The horse died. Jesus. And another thing. Pat Donahue, Ryan up there. Yeah. He wanted your father to cut sticks off it, and your father wouldn't cut the sticks. And he asked Jimmy Johnson. Now Jimmy Johnson went down and he went and cut I remember the sticks. Remember this story? So Jimmy was cutting away on the sticks, and he had a slash hook in his hand, and the slash hook disappeared out of his hand, and Jimmy couldn't find the slash hook. Hunted up and down the field, no way the slash hook was found. The wife got her hand caught in the lawnmower. Yeah, no, you said it cut, cut the fingers off her. Yes, cut yeah. the fingers off herself. He locked down Jimmy Lawless' child getting off the bus. I know what his school father. School bus. School bus because the child ran across the road. He got bad after that and he went to Wexford Hospital. Yeah. And as far as God, they could find nothing wrong with him in Wexford Hospital. They done more tests on him. And there was people in seeing him. And it says that you'd be afraid of him. He was sitting up the bed like a little old fairy's face on him. 
<laughs> that was Jimmy Johnson. Uh, Johnny Casey was the same. He could sticks as well. Worked out the ferry pair. And would the sticks burn though? They wouldn't, they'd burn all right, but you'd have no look. You'd have no look for him, yeah. You'd have no look, sure, for him. Aye. And sure, Casey had no look either. He's been in and out in the hospital several times. The fairies do well, get you. the mental, would it? Oh, of course they would. Aye. And now, there was another thing I was telling you. People, years ago, the banshee had come around and cried, Folly, O'Toole, Dunno. O'Brien. O'Brien, and all like this. We were going to Mass one evening. And I heard the banshee, heard this you crying. It was the banshee. We always got afraid of it. You mm. were all on his small. And I remember saying to you, Sonny, it's the banshee. Cried all along the river. So the next day, we got word, poor old Peter Bryan's mother was dead. Poor old nanny. Sure, your daddy seen the banshee? Did he? Yeah. Um, and Nelly. Right. So we went up the Linen's Bridge. And seen this one combing her hair, big long head of hair, and she combed well. The towel was Nelly first. So there was what do you call him was dying there at Cleanan's Bridge. Oh, what I can't even give his name now. But there was a what's his name? Linens. Linens or Linens Bridge. Yeah, was the man was dying. And uh or a woman was dying, tiny light, there was a woman dying. And sure the banshee was there, she disappeared. And she daddy with the man. What? Daddy with the man, remember that daddy with the man with the big long top coat on him? No. He was just going home, then it was on the bike. And he was coming down Molly Kyo's hill and he said, I'll never take this lad now seeing have be a company going down down the road. And daddy went as fast as he could well, on he the couldn't, bike. He couldn't keep up with him. Couldn't keep up with him. Aye, that's right. And when the car came, the lad disappeared. And poor old Jimmy Carr was out, don't know his feel after that county cattle. And the lad following him all around the field. All this right. lad, Daddy was at the scene with Big Top calling him, it's seen him. And he followed Jimmy all around the field and he came to the gate, he was wait when Jimmy got to the gate he was waiting there at the gate for him. Jimmy went on and when Jimmy got up the road a bit too, the car came, the lad disappeared again. So poor old Jim Larry was coming home one day, Jim and Gar. Yeah. And the bog lane was always haunted. And this one hopped up on the side of the car, dressed all in purple. Purple? Yes. Right. And came to the bog lane, the one disappeared. Okay. And there was always a dog seen at the bog lane. See, there was a man dropped dead there going to work. Malai was his name. Dropped dead off a push by. And your father always makes a wooden cross. The cross is still up there that Daddy makes for him. What does he? Yes, inside the ditch. And we were always told, you don't get out, keep off, get home from the back. At uh, such time. 10 o'clock at night time. To be always... To be someone out there. Someone there. And when you hear the noise like that, chains are rattling. Yeah. The noise, you keep tap going like that. Do you hear knocking as well? Yes, yeah. and the sweat pours off you. There's somebody there then. Did you tell me though as well about Lennon's Bridge to where the young one picked the comb up off the road? Oh yeah, the Lennon's Bridge. And she comes and she scratched at the window. Yeah, the banshee had scratched at the window that uh, night. Yeah, Lennon's Bridge, yeah. And they had to hit the, they had to get the tongs. Yeah. And hand it down. To the, the window. window, yeah, you told me and that one. And the banshee had to kill them. Yeah, took the hand, you said, took, took the, the hand straight yeah. off. You couldn't hand down, you couldn't put down your hand with the comb. That's the one thing you said, never, yeah. never pick up the comb off the, no. off the road, because the banshee's comb. Yeah, the banshee. So back you back after you, oh, the banshee be out. And there was another thing one day, Donahue's place was haunted up there. Up, Tom Donahue? No, Michael Donahue's. Ma yeah. They were at the buying this place, and one blessed or not, you see. And they were all playing cards one night, out could play cards two or three o'clock in the morning. And there was a back door and a front door. And the back door opened up and this big tall man walked straight through the kitchen and out the back way. Yeah. That was grand. You see, that time there weren't many cars in the road. And poor old Jim Larry was be often called maybe at two or three o'clock in the morning to pull the car out of the ditch. Don't know who was torn. Oh, the car, right? Yeah. They let her go across the road. Yeah. And of course, Jim, 
people who ever have a car, they'd pull in to let the man I buy. Swerve, yeah. Yeah, and you'll, they'd go straight to the grave. Right. And then they'd have a job pulling them over. But they got that blessed anyway. There was no more seen there. Was that built on a rahin then? The no, 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 Paddon would have been near the rahin. Would it be right? But Mictonors wouldn't be. Right. Gilbert's owned at Mictonors before they bought years ago. And now, there was another thing as well. There was this other man. Meat cures, but he wasn't not in the meat cures now, Jack cures now. He got a tent and he went out on this fairy path. As well, he didn't know it was a fairy path. And he put the tent up and he got into the tent himself. <laughs> and every time he got into the tent, the tent would move along. Right. And the next thing he ended up there, he was up the top it. of the field. Yes, right. The top of the field. And he got afraid of his life. But yeah, she would, wouldn't so you? So, anyway, that was grand. Anyway. When he got out the tent, he was running, and he seen this black dog behind him. This black dog behind him. And this dog was after being seen at the bog lane several times, up where Benny is now, yeah. several times. But the dog followed him, and as soon as the man got out of the field, he left the tent and all in it. And he looked back, there was nothing to be seen in the field. Not even the tent? Not even the tent, or the dog wasn't to be seen. All right. Now, that was Mickey, but he was not in the Jack Hughes now. But your poor old Jim Larry at home. The, this was before the wife died. Poor old Mammy Larry. He, he was in the bed and this big tall one was standing at the bed when he woke up. He got up out of the bed, he followed her down the stairs and down the, the path she went. Tom outside, Benny, yeah. Outside. And Benny used to be at a disco at that time. And Benny was coming in about two or three o'clock in the morning. And then Benny made the big one dressed. Oh, you told me that was well, right, yeah. All in white. So Benny came in there and he was as white as a ghost. And poor old Jim said, him, what happened? I'm after seeing this big tall one going, oh, don't worry, say I had her in the room with me. And that's what Jimmy and yeah. Larry said. Yeah, right? don't worry, I had her in the room with me. And the day poor old Willie Sinn had died, there was a robin flew in here. Yeah. And I caught the robin and I put him out. Yeah. And the robin came back in again. And about half an hour after that, Willie's poor old Bridget came down and said Willie was dead. All right, because Granny told me the story that if the robin comes in, it's good luck. Oh, no, no. It's all lucky for a robin to come in the sign of a day. And it's all lucky as well if a picture falls in the house sign of a day. Was it? Oh, yeah. All right. And another thing that's all lucky is if you broke a looking glass. Mm. You're seven year bad. I marry, yeah, I know that one. So yeah. <clears throat> and it's unlucky to bring a white horn into the house. We were always told to never bring a white horn into the house. Oh, she yeah. look at your man and down wakes for that. Sure he had an accident. And he killed the two men was killed in the car. And God help him, he was weeks in the hospital then. He came home now and he went back to work. And where he had the accident, he picked up the two men. Right, the and same he, lads that he lad. killed, yeah. And he brought them to work, and when he went to lay them out, there no was no one in the car. So he went where? So he was he locked up then. The mental. Yeah. And another thing too, I'll tell you. If you, oh yeah, that, that's another thing I'm going to tell you as well. Sure, Daddy was coming home Quincy's house, over the road here. And you used to always see these lights. This light, all colours in these lights. And uh, he went down for weeks and weeks. So he went up to the priest. And the priest told him to say a few Hail Marys. He never seen them anymore, never seen the lights anymore. Oh, did he not? Oh, it's on the down here at. at Her granny's Tom brother. Gage. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, that, the, that was haunted as well. You could hear the chains coming up along after you. Was it Nolan's, is it? Yeah, Nolan's down there. Oh, it's haunted, alright. What was it about as well? Was it Dunhu's then that you were with playing cards one night? And oh, the, 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 the devil. The devil, yeah. There was these lads years ago, people would play cards at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. And we'll say Johnny was the lad's name and Tom. But Johnny said he'd go home. Yeah. And Tom said he'd stay on for another while. Oh, Johnny came along the road and he, and he heard this lovely music in the ditch. And Johnny took off the coat first and then he took off the jumper. And the sweat was pouring out. When Tom came along, 
And he said, not going home, only he had lovely music. And John Tom said, yeah, he had lovely music. Tom looked down like that, and he gave the man a great nudge, seeing the crooked feet. Yeah. The devil's feet, he was dancing to the devil. Right, and he, two of them could hear the music. Two of them could hear the music now. But there's only one lad dancing. And there's only one lad dancing. Right. And when you give your man a nudge like that, yeah. your lad one long put on his coat and clearing over it. God. Was the devil make him dance and put until he died? Yeah, he died. They died, yeah, right. Of course he would. And, should, and another thing as well. A few, there was a tinker woman. And she went to this farmer's place. And the old farmer's one was expecting as well. And she wanted a drop of milk, the tinker woman did. And the old, tinker, the old farmer's one looked out to the wind and said, Here comes the old tinker one up the lane. She would litter of pigs after, after her. When her child was born, I had a, had a pig's head. But did <laughs> But that, that is true, that happened. And if you were expecting, and yeah. you seen a hair on the road, you have to tear a piece out of your jumper or your frog. It's a bit of material. Yeah, not you'll have, your child have a hair lip. Yeah, you said that, right? So you would. And another thing. Of course. Oh, no, of course. Mm. They were blessed well down here, don't know And I used to bring you, and you, every one of yours down here was small, down to this blessed well. And there was a big, ho- big tree, and there was a big hole in it. And you want to see what medals, beads, uh, Two shillings, trumpeny so bits, daddy put a shilling. Did put the thing in the tree, the coin, the old shilling or something. Oh yeah, that is it, yeah, yeah, years ago. Yeah. And uh, that was grand, and yeah, I used to bring you down to the blessed well. So there was a kinship of God. Yeah. And you want to see the day of it now. But I remember there was a man going down with, down to the blessed well, rosary beads and all left down there. And he went down on two crutches, and he came up, he d- came up, the fields or no I bothered him yeah. walking. He put his two feet down. It was real lovely well that time. And there was a graveyard there as well. And you want to see the graveyard now on the wall. There's only a little bit of walls all around it. Sure, seen it. Stride. There's not much there, no. sure. It cured you, sure. Yeah. And it cured Jenny as well. Oh, there's a belief in all them. I'm telling you, there's a belief in, in all them now. There's another one now as well about this. Oh, yeah, my father died. I was up getting into the bed one night and I said to Sheila, I said, there's a man standing at the bed. Right. And he had a little hat, a peak cap and all on. And Jenny couldn't see the man. Sheila. She, or Sheila, Sheila couldn't. couldn't see the man. And I said, there he is standing at the bed. And the next day I got word my father was dead. Right, so it was him probably saying oh, his last goodbye. The come for you, all right? Aye. What do you surely do to come for you? And another thing, you never throw water out all souls now, because come back Come back into your face, yeah, you were yes. saying that. People set the tables, more people lights the candles. In the window, isn't it? Yeah, in the window, or lay them around the table. And so if you lay a candle all souls night and put brown paper, wrap brown paper around the candle, the candle will burn through the brown paper, and the paper the will never still burn. be there. Yeah. Jeez. That's another thing. Right. And... Um, do you have to leave doors open for, for the old saints? Oh, we never we no. never left the doors open at all. We did never throw holy water or um, water. And that time, you get you get the blessing of the salt. Salt be bl- bl- blessed for the fields. And the holy water. And the splinter, splinter all the holy water all around the four corners of the fields. Why? For the safe cattle. The cattle be all safe and all right. Years ago, the salt was for a bit of for a course and you have to have a blessed. Oh, you have to have a blessed. You have to have a blessed. And there was a what else was on now? Oh, is it this black dog? Was that the bog lane? And I was coming down one night. This is Stuart's garden. Sheila was with me as well. And this big black dog was standing at, at where the cross is. And Jenny, or Sheila, couldn't see the, black, the dog. And he looked that height. Yeah. And he disappeared. When, when I looked around, he was there twice. And poor old Julie Murphy. And Julie Murphy, w- w- before she died, Julie lived down fields, down the road. 
Poor old Paddan on now, the Lord Mercy on him. Julia was sitting at the gate and Pa was coming home and Pa stopped at the gate to see Julia to lift, put Ju- get Julia into the car. Yeah. That was alright anyway. Pa went home and when Pa got when in and all he says to him, poor old Julia Murphy is dead. He got Julia. he just given her a lift. Julia's not dead anyway. He says, I'm not seeing her above the gate. Yeah. And it wasn't. No. And poor old Pa was the same. He was seen as well as smoking the pipe. What do you mean, before he? Before he died. How was he? Poor old Pa. Because poor old Jim Larry, he used to come up to poor old Jim Larry that time. And he'd shave and give him a dry shave. That time, I was an old man, sure. And he'd come up every Saturday night for a shave. And poor old Pat was seen smoking the pipe. All right. Before he died as well. I never do that one now. Now, there's plenty more. I'm sure there's. There was another bless well down here in Moggs. Yeah. I was never down at that now. And there's another bless well going down to Dunamore. Oh, it's, yeah. It's in at the. It's at the side of the road. Side of the road, I've seen, yeah. I've seen that. I haven't, I haven't seen that now. Yeah. But should have ever blessed well the round. And this, there's one in Kilincooley. There's one in Kilincooley. Yeah, that's a nice one, that's isn't a, it? That, that's all paled in. That is lovely. Yeah, that one is. Yeah. And there's... Um, you brought me down there before, didn't you? I brought you down there. I had a thing on my eye or something. No, that was the well, well at Dunhose. Oh, was it? Yeah, that, you got cured. You had that's, to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's right. Now, and Jenny got cured down there. Well, I see now. And you, you always told us as well years ago never to go into the rain. Oh, you never you know, went in the rain. Never go into it because it was if you take something off as well, they'll come and come and take it and haunt yeah, you and stuff, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, they'll, they'll know you can't yeah. go near the rain. Nothing grows on the rain. Yeah. Nothing grows on the rain. So you say even the farmers wouldn't even go into oh, after no. their animals. Oh, sure, they wouldn't. You can't. Yeah. You can't put nothing in them. And sure, there was another thing as well. There was a a woman years ago as well. This is a new one now. Mm. And she said that the children went in and she didn't know what the rain was built around the house as well. And the children went into the rain and one of them lit a fire in it. Right. In in the fire. And she said the young one got bad that night, child got bad that night. And didn't know what was wrong with her. Yeah. And she turned blue in the face. And they got the doctor. And the doctor came anyway and asked him where had they been? Had they been Near any near chemical, yeah, any yeah. flowers, rain like that. She said, No, and one young one said, Sure, we were in up at the rain, you said it was fairies, Pat. All right, so and he said to her, He said, Well, we'll bring her into the hospital. And the young one was all right the next morning, the fairies had got her all right. Jesus, and one of the young ones left a pair of shoes in, forgot the shoes when the mother called them, and the shoes were gone as well. The shoes were gone over, Jesus. Shoulders have gone over now. The fairies. Fairies, well. Sure, another time too. There was, remember, you used to go up to the. Yeah, up there. The Pains. Yeah, that's where we used to always go. You used to go up to the fairy path up there. Yeah, you used to give out to us. Yeah, you used to give out to us, not to be up on it. Yeah. Not, 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 not to not take a bit of a branch or yeah. anything off, the, off yeah. it. Sure, if you bring down blessed water, get yeah, blessed water and the willow won't buy later. Yeah, that's. that's tr- she don't know who's got two sticks off the rain above. Yeah. They're small. And they got anyway, the, the mother made them go back with their sticks and laid them in back where they got them. Right, no way would they burn them. No, they wouldn't burn them. And Dunahoe's road was haunted. Just be. A hearse that time. Mm. Just draw the, the people that time in the cut with the horse and carriage. Yeah. And up Kay Burks Hill, they were all, Dunahoe's were all out playing. And this horse, two horses came up the hill. The coffin and all in, in drawn. Yeah. And they didn't know where the coffin they they cleared. They did they got the clock, they cleared. And the next thing there was a big dog near about that height. Was the same kind of dog that does been the bog or different? No, a small one, about that height. Yeah. And he was following the hearse. Right. And when the hearse disappeared, the dog disappeared. I don't know who's went home, they were afraid of their lives. Right, and you knew nothing about the hearse no. or what, what it no. was? No. And I'll tell you another thing. Jenny and Mark were coming down the road at Linen's Bridge. Mm. And it was three o'clock in the morning. And the mayor hearse 
under Lord and a coffin in it. Had three at law. Where is that long ago? About two years back. Right. At Linen's Bridge and Jenny got afraid of her life. And I'd say well, there was no one ever found out was anyone dead. I'd say it was it was the haunted. Right. At Linen's right. Bridge. Linen's Bridge is haunted, isn't it, sure? Yeah. But sure, I used to come on down with Mick and you and Jenny and Anne. You know, and Ben, Ben would be ours holding on to you. She'd be in a small Yeah, I know she did, yeah. And sometimes you'd think there was someone pulling you. And this night I was coming down now, and it was only about maybe half eight night time. And I could hear this yell behind me, Ari. Right. But then I thought first it was Ben, but it wasn't. There was someone there, and the sweat was pouring off me. That you ran home, did you? I did. I couldn't run home. We had all yours with me. <laughs> so I couldn't run Drag home. Drag this. Yes, I think that's all they want here. What do you make?